We open up on the aftermath of pretty much dead already. A shocked group, a broken Carol, a broken Herschel. Dead zombies everywhere. Herschel's dead zombie family. Dead zombie Sophia. Amidst all of this, Beth goes over to mourn her dead zombie mother. But it turns out, she's not dead. Luckily, the group is there to save her just in time. Shane accuses Herschel of knowing about Sophia, and Herschel makes it clear he wants Shane gone. Get him off my land! They hold the funeral for Sophia and Herschel's family. Beth collapses from shock, and Herschel goes missing. Maggie tells them he used to be a drinker. So Rick and Glenn decide to go to the town bar looking for him. Shane and Lori disagree with this. Rick says it needs to be done. Dale tells Lori he thinks Shane killed Otis and that he'll kill again. Lori asks Daryl to go get Herschel. Daryl says he's done looking for people. Lori flips a car. Rick and Glenn find Herschel in the bar drinking. He tells Rick he was a fool and that his daughters deserve better. That Rick told him there was no cure, and he chose not to believe him. But when Shane shot that zombie in the chest, he knew there was no hope. And that when Sophia came out of the barn, that Rick knew that too. Rick says it's not about what they believe. It's about the people back home. Just then, Dave and Tony come into the bar. At first, sharing some laughs and some drinks with our crew. Then questioning where our group is staying. Then they ask if they can come back. Rick like, nah, that's not gonna happen. When Dave asks again and Rick refuses, Dave goes for his gun. In response, Rick takes them out as Glenn and Herschel look on with shock. Back at the farm, T-Dog and Shane burn the Walker bodies as we fade to black. Wow, what a great introduction to this second half of this season. You have that disagreement between Shane, Lori, and Rick, which really sets the tone for the remainder of this season. You have Lori coming and asking Daryl to go look for Rick, Herschel, and Glenn, but Daryl is still very broken from his search for Sophia and the disappointment of that. He says, if you want them, go look for them yourself. And then Lori goes and gets herself in an accident. Then you have the amazing conversations specifically between Herschel and Shane at the beginning Shane's like you knew and Herschel's like I didn't know get off my farm then you have Beth collapsing in the kitchen really the start of her becoming an actual character in this show but this episode is made in that last stretch with Dave Tony Rick Herschel and Glenn in the bar I could talk about that scene forever but that scene is one of the best scenes in all of The Walking Dead. I feel it truly defines what The Walking Dead is about in a lot of ways. I give this episode a strong 9.3 out of 10. I'm not a huge fan of the storyline of Laurie going and flipping a car and what that leads to. feels a little cheap, but... Ultimately, this episode is absolutely amazing and such a great sister episode to what we saw in Pretty Much Dead already. I could once again talk about that final scene for hours, but I recommend you go watch it. It is pinned in the comment section below. That is Nebraska. You don't know what we've had to go through out there. Things we've had to do. I bet you've had to do some of those same things yourself.